Got a Garden each Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on WOCA The Source. I'm Yvette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, 25 minutes before 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Friday morning. You know, two weeks ago, Robin, it was Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. Two weeks ago was Valentine's Day. And from the man's perspective, the young man who was had already made up his mind that this was the day he was going to propose to his girlfriend, make her his fiance, and then make plans to get married. Two weeks ago, that guy was really nervous right about now, yeah. right? And then two weeks ago tonight, we'll presume that most of these proposals happened in the evening on Valentine's Day evening. There was a young lady all over this country, probably all over the world, that was very, very excited because this this magic moment has happened where mm-hmm. he has gotten down on his knees and said, will you marry me, right? Yeah. So for the last two weeks, just using my scenario as a, as a jumping point for this next interview, for the next last two weeks, they've been planning and planning and planning mm-hmm. the wedding. Yes. Right? Right. Nobody plans the marriage. Everybody plans the <laughs> wedding. Nobody plans the yeah. marriage. And I'm not the first to say that. And uh, you, Robin, of course, uh, have been married to Ronnie for almost... Almost 40. Almost 40 years. Yep. Wow. Um, we have on the phone Marsha Naomi Berger. She is going to talk to us about her book. It's called Marriage Meetings for Lasting Love. Uh, she is the marriage maven, it says here. She's a clinical social worker. She served on the clinical faculty at the University of California School of Medicine, served as the executive director of Jewish Family and Children's Services of the East Bay. And again, her book is called Marriage Meetings for Lasting Love. Listen to the subtitle, though. 30 minutes a week to the relationship you've always wanted. Yeah. So if I just scared all of you who are just newly engaged. Uh Uh-huh. You say, you know, you're right. You're right. We're not planning the marriage. We're planning the wedding. (laughs) That's right. Well, it sounds like, you know, a little common sense and maybe some tender loving care might make all the difference. Marsha, Naomi Berger says, call me Naomi. So let's do that right now. Okay. Good morning, Naomi. How you doing? I'm fine, Larry. How are you? And I I love what you said. I love the expression. It's not the wedding. It's the marriage. Yeah. Well, where are you? Let me ask you where you are first. We'll start there. Why did you ask me? We have a little feedback. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that would have gone away by now. Um, where are you? Where are you calling from? I'm in San Rafael, California, just a little bit north of the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, that okay. That connects us to San Francisco. And, and you are married, obviously, right? Yes, yes. I'm married uh, for <coughs> 20, oh, we're going on 26 years now. So am I jumping too far ahead to ask you what th- what happens during that 30 minutes a week? What what happens during that 30 oh, minutes? Yeah, we, we can go ahead. Um, if you'd like me to say why I think we need these meetings, I can tell you that too, um, which, whichever way you want to do it. Well, tell me what we do, first of all, and then we'll, we'll find out why we okay, do it. Okay, yeah, we'll go with the four-part agenda. Okay, okay all this right. This is a structured meeting with recommended communication skills. There are four parts to the meeting. I tell the general, very general agenda topics, and then you fill in the blanks for your particular relationship. Okay. So the first agenda item is appreciation. The second agenda item is chores. That's the business part of the marriage. Okay. The bills that have to be paid, the roof that has to be fixed, right, whatever. Right, right, right. Okay? Um, the third part of the meeting is planning for good times. That means that you've probably all heard of the weekly date idea. This is a time that you make sure it happens during your marriage meeting. Okay. And the fourth part of the meeting is called problems and challenges, and that's when you talk about the issues or conflicts that are bound to arise in any relationship. And I do recommend that people start with the easy ones and get used to the structure of the marriage meeting because it can feel artificial at first. You don't usually talk with each other with an agenda. 
and a list may be ahead of time. Sometimes people write down ahead of time what they want to talk about, though not necessarily. Okay. So I have a question already about this. Let's say we say our meeting is going to be Fridays at 6 p.m. Okay? That's, okay. That, that's our meeting. Wednesday at 5 p.m. I come home and I have some. I, I have an issue. <laughs> I mean, do I wait till Friday to talk about it? If this is going to keep you up at night, you do not wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so, but you've been doing this, obviously. How, how far into your marriage did you start doing this with your husband? Um, we started doing this a few months after we were married. We saw a class uh, advertised for couples called Time for a Better Marriage. And even though I'd been a therapist for a couple of decades, I think by the time, yeah, I, I didn't marry young. Uh, I, and I was the family therapy expert. Once I got married, I realized, well, I, I have things to learn still and it, because it's very personal marriage compared to being objective as a therapist and as a teacher or educator. Um, so we took the class. We were the only couple that showed up for the class, which shows that we were probably the only people whose relationship had room for growth in the whole county. That's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wanted to be sure. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I tend to be literal. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, we, we, this was just a little teeny part of the meeting. It was, I mean, of okay. the class. The class was 10 weeks, um, you know, one evening a week. And there were just a few minutes spent on the, the idea of having a weekly meeting. Uh, and, and, my husband and I took that. That was the one thing we really kept doing after the class. Oh, okay, okay. And, I, and we've been doing it for, for 25 years, we have, virtually every week. Are you and your husband, um, and, and I'm, I'm asking a personal question, I realize, but I'm, I'm, I guess I'm going somewhere with this. Are you on the same level as far as being leaders? Uh, in your leadership skills, are they about equal? Oh, gosh, um, not sure how my husband would answer that. I think we, we have we have different styles. I tend to be more direct, and he tends to be more tactful. Okay, so oh, well, that's works out pretty well. Okay, so let's say let's say one let's say the man is a, the CEO of a corporation, and he's used to being the boss. He's used to being <laughs> the he's used to being the one dictating. Now it comes time for the marriage meeting. He can't still be that person, I don't think. What do you think? I think that's a great question, Larry, and you're right, yeah. And a good marriage these days is more of a collaborative approach. It's not a dictatorship. It's not, yeah. it's not the fixed roles anymore. It's, it's how are we going to cooperate so that we can both be happy. And, uh, and about, Oh, go ahead. And uh, how, when you have these marriage meetings, do both uh, people have the honesty instead of just being a go-alonger? A go-alonger. Oh, yes, yeah. The word I use is placating, and a lot of marriages get into trouble. Too many get into trouble because um, one person might say it's my way or the highway, and instead of saying no way back, um, we're both equal in this relationship, and I have a say too, the partner might say, okay, whatever you say, go along to get along, and then, uh, the, the, then it's like the problems get swept under the carpet instead of cleaned up promptly. So can and we? You know what happens when too many are under the carpet; it gets so lumpy you can hardly walk on it. So can we can we play role a little bit here? I'm gonna. I'll, I'll oh, be, I love role playing. Uh, role playing. That's how you say. It. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna start with appreciation. Uh, Naomi, you look wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, by the way. Does that, I mean, does that count? Does looks count? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm glad you mentioned that about appreciation because.